All right, everyone, welcome to this daily sidereal astrology forecast for Thursday, April 27th, 2017. So new beginnings, we just had a new moon yesterday in Aries. This is for sidereal astrology, so be sure to check the link down below if you are new to the channel. Signs are different, but um, a new beginning in the constellation Aries. So today's the first day of this lunar cycle, you could say. Still a lowered energy time because it's very important to be listening to what these new beginnings are and to shift with wherever life is taking us. But uh, with that, it is a very active new moon, right? So during this next 30 days, and really for this next year, uh, we're starting this new energy now of cultivating um, our personal needs, right? What's important to you? What are your needs? What are your wants? What are the things you want in life? This is essentially what Aries is about, but it's taking the action and taking the initiative um, to gain more clarity because you know, it's a process and it's through the actual motion of things and through living in this world that we do gain more self-awareness self about who we are and what we want. So anything you can do to initiate, take some steps, cultivate those personal needs of yours uh, can be great today. But again, it's still subtle. Things are shifting and just being adaptive with, um, you know, putting your energy where things are. Um, going for you in your life. Now, in terms of uh, that as well, Mercury still retrograde. Mercury is going to be getting very close to Uranus. They're going to get conjoined tomorrow. So uh, we could be thinking about a lot of new things right now. And there can, it can be a very innovative time, in fact. And we could be feeling this today. Um, so anything you can be doing to be thinking outside the box, you know, seeing things from a new perspective, progressiveness, you know, seeing things in a way that is about where you can have a bit more freedom perhaps in your life. What's more in alignment with what you're truly about? And uh, maybe changing the routine to facilitate that. So with Mercury retrograde, just like this new moon, it's good to be flexible, right? But in the process, try new things, learn, mix things up, see where you can bring in a bit more of that freedom in your life. So I think that's gonna be emphasized. We don't have any major aspects going on today, just minor lunar aspects. So let's go ahead and break this down in more detail. All right, so there it is, the new moon. Um, still a time of listening, you know, three days before, three days after is typically the, um, you know, time period of the new moon. And so it's a subtle spiritual time, time of seeing what's changing, what new insights, what new intentions are coming into the picture. But um, yes, taking steps nonetheless, and through that, gaining more awareness about what these new beginnings are and what we want and who we are, which is what Aries is all about. It's the ram, it's taking that initiative you know, pushing forward, living in this world actively that, um, you know, gets things moving. So uh, the moon's going to be in Aries the first half of the day, shifting into Taurus the second half. So, so the, this whole new moon is still going to be very much Aries, especially with the sun here. But as we go into the second half, we may be feeling a bit like wanting to take things a bit slow and steady. Okay, it's essentially what Taurus is about. In fact, Mars, the uh, ruler of Aries, is in Taurus. So we're already feeling this. This whole new beginning is about taking action, but in ways of taking slow and steady steps. You know, before taking the next step, making sure your current step is firmly placed. And so that could be accentuated the second half. We may feel like um, enjoying some things, maybe sensual things, uh, relaxation, you know, um, anything that invokes the senses, meals, aromas, uh, visually stimulating things, enjoying essentially what earth provides is what Taurus is about, right? Every material thing, everything that earth provides, being aware of what we have, being grateful for what we have and relaxing into that. Okay. That's very good with the moon in Taurus. So with that, uh, with these placements, as you can see here, minor lunar aspects taking place today, but as we go into tomorrow, Mercury is going to get very close to Uranus during this retrograde. He's already contacted once before a few, at least a few weeks ago, maybe about four weeks ago. So, um, yeah, it's probably closer to four weeks. So with this, uh, this is essentially that over this time period, let's say the past month, it's been very important to, uh, think about things in a new way. Where can you have change in your life and the type of change that is more of an expression of what you might consider your true self, the, the, the side of yourself that wants to be free, 
that wants to do things that is an expression of what you're about. And so with Mercury going retrograde closer to Uranus, and this will be more so tomorrow with things shifting with this, but all day today, thinking about things in a new way, seeing where you can make some changes in your life to facilitate that freedom, and just with the Mercury retrograde, try new things and treat it all as a learning process. I think with that perspective of a willingness to learn, a willingness to try new things, uh, there's a lot of new change taking place. And this is going to be very much accentuated next week as well. Once Mercury goes direct, you know, we're going to be implementing a lot of what we learn at this time. And then Mercury is going to pass over Uranus uh, later that week and into the following week as well. So he's all within this orb at this time. And right now it's the learning phase. It's the trying phase. It's the experimental phase. You know, Uranus is all about science and experimenting, all right, trying new things. And so uh, with that perspective, we can be bringing in a bit of excitement in our life, a bit of change, and I think most fundamentally freedom. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about these lunar aspects on a minor note. The moon will be trining up to Pluto. We have some easy aspects here today. So the first half, we could be feeling quite uh, wanting to get deep, wanting to get meaningful, open, vulnerable in life. That could be in relationships. It can be with ourselves. Some of us very good for... Um, Diving deep in general, such as through research, whether it's through your work or maybe it's through psychology, things like this. Piercing the veil can be uh, very easy to do and very supportive and natural for us uh, this first half of the day. As we get into the second half, we have a couple openings here. I think mostly with relationships, just uh, or it could even be the enjoyments as well, with, which is the Taurus energy. So. Uh, with relationships, maybe wanting to connect and there can just be a bit of um, cooperation, a bit of flow in those one-to-one -one connections. And in Taurus, probably more fundamentally, just an opening to be grateful for who and what we have in our life and to enjoy some things, right? Uh, it's just an opening for that. And it could be, you know, good to do that. It can help us uh, enjoy some things here the second half of the day. It's minor, but it does flow there with the things that we want to connect to. All right, the square up to the north node is minor. That's uh, more of an undercurrent. Maybe there are some things you can challenge yourself with, with your life path, but it's definitely not a challenging energy because we do not feel the north node personally. All right, so that's the day in a nutshell. The way I would sum this up is, um, yes, Mercury getting closer to Uranus. What can you mix up in your life? By mixing things up, we try new things, new things surface. We see things we didn't see before. And there can be a lot of uh, new ideas, a lot of new insights, a lot of aha moments uh, this week and even going into next week. And today could be um, accentuating that. Minor triumph to Pluto, good depth the first half of the day. Second half, a bit of flow with who and what we connect to. And this overall time period today, certainly still a new moon phase. Good for listening. Good for seeing what new is shaping up in our life and what we can do to take the initiative to propel that stuff forward, but most fundamentally to simply take action to learn more about who we are and what we want. All right. So have a great day, everyone. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.